Oh, hi there. Greetings from Options Education in Australia. Firstly, I would like to congratulate you on getting to this point in your application process. By now, I'm sure you've gone through your medicals, uh, your biometrics, and you've had your visa granted. Now comes the next part of your journey to make your way to Australia. And this is why we would like you to take a few minutes to join us to watch this video as we go through the important things that are needed in your pre-departure checklist. Have you brought your hard copy and soft copy of your visa? Have you carried your valid passport with you? Do you have your offer letter, your COE, and a copy of your overseas student health card? Do you have your yellow fever certificate? That is particularly important when you're going through customs in Australia. Are you aware of your orientation information? Are you aware of the location of your school and the time and dates that you need to be there? It is mandatory for international students to go for their orientation. Make sure you carry all your original important documents this should include things like your birth certificate, uh, academic qualifications such as high school, diploma, bachelors. You should also include your IELTS English certificate if you sat for the English test. It is also highly advised that you bring your driver's license with you and try and renew it for as long as possible before you come to Australia. With that in mind, you should leave certified copies of all these important documents with a family member or a next of kin back home where they can keep it safe for you as well. Do you have a copy of emergency contact details? It is good to make sure that you perhaps have contact details of someone here in Australia and also someone back home. When you are booking your flights, ensure that you book them directly to your destination and try and avoid booking domestic flights within Australia as this can have an impact on your luggage limits. Have you confirmed your accommodation and airport pickup? It's important that someone here in Australia knows your flight itinerary when you're landing, be it your family, a friend, uh, your university, or even us here at Options Education. Make sure you exchange your money into US dollars and Australian dollars. The US dollars will prove beneficial as you travel here to Australia as it is widely accepted internationally. The Australian dollar will prove beneficial when you land as it is the only currency accepted in Australia. We highly recommend that you get yourself a smartphone if you don't already have one. Smartphones will prove to be very useful for you, especially when you're looking to find out where you're going, perhaps with Google Maps, uh, navigating your way through your school, because they have apps for that, getting to know where your classes are, checking your emails, and so on and so forth. PowerPoints are different in Australia, so it is advisable that you get yourself a universal power adapter so that when you land here, you will still be able to charge your phones, uh, your laptops, and any other electrical equipment that you may have with you. On the plane, you will be issued with an incoming passenger card, which you fill in to declare what you are bringing into Australia. It's crucial to know that Australia has strict custom regulations in regards to what you can and cannot bring into the country. Please follow the link on the description to learn more about this. Thanks for watching and we wish you a safe journey. And if you're coming to South Australia Adelaide, please make sure to pop in and say hi at our office. For those of you going to other states, you can always send us a quick email to let us know you arrived safe and sound. Remember, we are here to support you throughout your educational journey. Thanks again.